In order to be the happiest and healthiest versions of ourselves, we have to put quite a bit of effort into our nutrition, health, sourcing food, and preparing food. In the case of today, you know, sriracha is a very popular condiment, spicy, sweet, hot pepper sauce. And we did a critique video on a bodybuilder, a big Rami, big Rami, aka big Rami. You guys don't like my jokes. I, he put some sriracha on his food and I gave him a little bit of nu -nu -nu for it. And you guys asked me to show you a healthy sriracha recipe. So here it is. It's going to be very, very simple. It's only a few ingredients. Just a little bit of preparation in regards to the wait time for the fermentation. And what I mean by that is, you know, sriracha and a lot of these sauces have Asian roots and they do fairly long fermentations. I'm sure you guys are familiar with kimchi, things like sauerkraut, but so many of these Asian style condiments are fermented and the average person isn't used to doing that. So let's take a look at the ingredients. So this jar in the background is actually what I made a couple days ago. So the fermentation is done already, but we have to get to that point first. Uh, so you need one pound of red Fresno peppers. You could use jalapeno, really any organic pepper you can get from the supermarket. Whole Foods actually did have organic red Fresnos. And I really anticipated that I was going to be doing this recipe with jalapenos because I really didn't think I was going to find these. But point is one pound of any high quality organic pepper that's going to be mashed with two cloves of garlic. Then you need one tablespoon of sweetener. Uh, I'm going to use the nature's glucose we have on Frankie's free range foods. Uh, recipe typically uses sugar. Uh, you could do a little more. It really depends on your taste uh, up to two tablespoons. Of course, we need a little bit of salt to season it and some vinegar. I'm using unfiltered apple cider vinegar. And you're also supposed to add a little bit of water, but it depends on the consistency that you want. So for prep, all we're going to do is uh, take the stems off of these and we'll leave the seeds on the inside. You know, these aren't the best quality, kind of out of season. They're molding a little bit. And this is definitely something you would make with whatever is local to you, whatever is fresh. Definitely not in the middle of winter. Uh, anyone unfamiliar with the nature's glucose, I forgot to mention it's just a higher glucose honey. So it's about 75% glucose instead of 35%. A lot easier on the liver. You know, I used to get gout from eating honey, uh, but this is perfectly fine. So it's one pound of organic red Fresno chili peppers with the stems cut off and two cloves of organic crushed and peeled garlic. That goes in the blender. So we want about a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of the nature's glucose, I'm going to add a little more because I like it sweeter. And usually the bacteria just eats up the sugar so it's not that sweet, depending on how long it ferments for. And I want a third of a cup of the vinegar. Uh, so I'm going to take this blender outside and use it because my parents are sleeping. So uh, we'll do that right now. I would say I woke my neighbors up, but for some reason, my neighbor's always rubbing his engine at five in the morning anyway. This is going to be like a loose paste. You don't want to add that much liquid. And then this, oh man, holy, oh man, don't breathe that in, Jesus Christ. So after a couple days, it's pretty much the same color, but if you smell this one, oh my God, still, still potent, but it smells noticeably different. It's fermented. The flavors have developed quite a bit. And now all we have to do is strain this, and then we basically have our sriracha. We have a bowl, strainer, sriracha goes into the strainer, and then we push this through. As you can see, this is kind of liquidy, and even if you didn't add that much vinegar, you're still gonna kind of end up with this type of consistency. You could just stick with the paste if you don't wanna strain this out. In order to get that classic sriracha texture, you probably have to add some type of stabilizer or chemical ingredient that wouldn't make this healthy. And if you really wanted to like puree it and blitz it up and pass it through a Tammy sieve, you're going to need some higher end equipment than a typical blender. Uh, so probably, you know, $150, $200 in, in more commercialized equipment in order to get the pepper particles uh, blitzed up enough. And then you're just going to oxidize the hell out of it. So th this is really what you're going to end up having. Uh, I suggest keeping it as the paste, not straining it. 
and just putting it on your food. It's gonna basically taste the same as sriracha, except you're not gonna have all those negative chemicals. And, and even if you put this in a squeeze bottle, you could still put this on your food. You know, mess around with the fermentation time, you know, that set on the counter for three days. That's the typical, you could go longer, uh, you could try not fermenting it. You know, once you understand what each component of the recipe brings to the final flavor, you can then adjust and see what you like. Uh, so hopefully this helps you guys make your own healthy sriracha at home. And whenever you're curious about making a food healthy, you just kind of have to look at what ingredients are in it, see what you can substitute, see what you can get high quality versions of. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. You could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week or perhaps sooner than that. And if you want to check out all of my businesses, you can go to frank-stefano.com. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.